There's a new Nashville-based duo that's really getting a lot of action on the country music scene now, and we were lucky enough to get them here in our studio. Uh, Dixie Jade, the name of the group, and here we have Dominique Ruiz. Did I get that right, Dominique? Correct. That was perfect. Wow, well, that <laughs> took a little practice on that. And standing next to Dominique is Andrea Crisali. Ladies, good morning to you both. Good, good morning. morning. All right, first question is for you, Miss uh, Dominique. How yeah. long have you been playing? Oh, guitar? Yeah. So I started on piano when I was eight, but I started guitar when I was 11. Right. So my parents actually met in a band <laughs> playing guitar. That's great. So I was lucky enough to have my dad help me when I started out. Right. And uh, yeah, so, you know, it's been about 14 years now. About 14 yeah. years. Yeah. Okay. And next question is for you. How yeah. long have you been performing, whether singing or playing? Well, my mom will tell you that when I popped out, I was screaming. So I don't know <laughs> if that counts as singing or performing. Oh, right. But um, pretty much, I think my entire life, I've been wanting for the stage. So. All right. How did you two come together? How did you meet and realize that, hey, we've got a little bit of magic here? Tell me that story. So kind of, I guess, a backward story is we met at the Bluebird Cafe, but only because Andrea recognized me from going to school together in right. L.A. So we were both in music school out there. In Los Angeles. In Los Angeles. And uh, one night at the Bluebird, we were there for the open mic and this the blues band that was really awesome. And Andrea's like, is your name Dominique? I think I recognize <laughs> you. I was like, I'm impressed with your you know, knack wow. for faces. And yeah. she was like, do you want to get coffee and maybe write a song sometime? And I was like, I would love to. You know, we had just both moved out here independently. Uh -huh. And you know, we were both excited about writing and making music. Well, and you would think with that kind of meeting that, yeah, something's got to be there, right? right? I mean, you can't. Fortuitously. Right, I was going to say, it's a Bluebird Cafe. Like, yeah. it's just <laughs> How did you first realize in dealing with Dominique that there's something here? musically creatively that's a, that's a really good question I think um, I think it was when we first started writing the song together mm -hmm. and um, we actually had a third member at one point early on uh, kind of before it was anything was formal right and we realized that it was kind of like a marriage you know you're like you're just so on the same page together mm -hmm. that having anyone else in there you're like this just doesn't work together so um, so I don't know I think it was chemistry right from the start all right uh, give me the genesis of this first song that you're going to be doing here yeah, so this is our single right now, and right. it's called I Can't Turn You Off, and like we said, we're songwriters, right. so we wrote this one actually with two of our good friends in Nashville, Lexi Hayden, who's an artist who we love, and Stone Eile. <laughs> it sounds like the garlic sauce, but it's not. It's not. Right. We finally got it right. And anyway, you know, the four of us were writing, and one of us was going through a really bad breakup. Right. We're, you know, talking about it in the room, as But that's do. great fuel for a song. That's it's right. Great, that's it's right. great fuel, you know, because you really, you're feeling it in mm -hmm. that moment, you know, mm -hmm. and then everyone's sharing their breakup stories yeah. and kind of their relationship stories of what they're going through, and uh, right. yeah, it just kind of popped out. Can't <laughs> wait to hear it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Dixie Jade. Turn the key, put the car in drive. That song comes on, so I change the dial. Used to crank it up, but it's been a while. I didn't think that I would miss you. I didn't think that I would think about standing in your rear view. I should be over it by now, but you still. Still turn me on. No, I can't. I can't get you gone. I wish, I wish there was a switch that I could, I could flip, but I can't turn you off. I can't turn you off. Ooh, I can't. I can't turn you off. Flashing at the bar Another round Dancing in the dark Trying to get lost In a stranger's eyes If you only knew That you were on my mind I didn't think that I would miss you I didn't think that I would think About wanting to be with you I should be over 
Nice ladies, very nice. I got to ask you a couple of quick questions here. Um, obviously, a very well thought out, very well planned, and certainly a great executed song. Thank you. As as both of you are writers, how do you know when a song is finished? Don't mess with us anymore. <laughs> it's done. Honestly, we're probably the the wrong people to ask. We always <laughs> edit songs. Always after. doing a little tweaking. Actually, this was one of those ones. So we wrote it in the room with them, um, without that third verse kind of bridge thing. And right. Andrea and I were like, we are obsessed with this song. We love it. We want to play it out. Um, let's really fit it, you know, towards sure. us. Plus, your audience will always tell you, I think, too. So All right. <laughs> now, before we came on the air, you were talking to one of our floor directors, and you said, "You got to be careful, or else I'll go all Mick Jagger." On. <laughs> what, did, what did you mean by that? Um, just oftentimes on stage, I get really excited, especially with wireless mics. Mm -hmm. We dance around a lot, and uh, we just get really into it. Most stage pictures of me end up with a lot of like, <laughs> like very intense looking faces. I look very angry, right. even though I'm not. So. All right, uh, we've got time to hear one more song, and it's called "Grits and Amazing Grace." And then they said, "No, Chip, it's Grits and Amazing Grace." And I said, "No, you're in the South. It's got to be Grits." That's right. And Amazing Grace. That's what we're eating after this. I think yeah. we'll be hearing a lot from. From this uh, duo here as we head into the coming weeks and the coming months we certainly wish you a lot of success so what we're gonna do here is the old ever popular guitar switch <laughs> and you're going to be hearing grit and amazing grace although if you wanted to call it grits and amazing grace I wouldn't hitch up for a co-writing thing. we really so. wanted to hit up Cracker Barrel you know see if they yeah, would yeah. do like a little sponsorship with that one so. <laughs> <laughs> all right again where can we find out more information about you individually, you collectively, and your great music. Um, go to DixieJ.com. Mm -hmm. um, you can find us on there. Also, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all the handles are at Dixie J Band. Ladies, best of luck. Let's hear Grit and Amazing Grace. Thank you. With a little bit of grit and amazing grace Sometimes you fall down but your heart don't break down on your knees, remember to pray. Just to get by in this life, it's gonna take a little bit of 